How's it going? Thanks for being here. Today, the topic is Lang Chain versus MPT, the 7 billion model, and even more specifically, the story writer that has an insane context length of over 65,000 tokens, and it can generate even further than its own context length. So it can generate I think over 84,000 tokens, or as long as 84,000 tokens. Um, so 84,000 tokens is conservative is conservatively 120 pages. So just to run over the math, 84,000 tokens conservatively, let's call it 80,000 tokens, and then on average, a token will produce 0.75 words. The source there is OpenAI, and uh, and then on average, a single page of a book will have about 500 words and I don't know who's the source for that. The source is, uh, I don't know, some website. Uh, if you Google like pages per book, that's like a, a number that comes up. So that'll be 120 pages and so that's a book. So what I would like to do, this connects to uh, something of mine called Rect, which recently came in second place for best AI project by Superbase. So rect is called rect because there are four points to it, like a rectangle, and that is it produces four outputs, educational resources, flashcards, quizzes, slideshows, and a chatbot assistant. So an evolution of this is called seven. I don't know if I've even written it down. So I haven't, I haven't written it down in this repository, but I created a separate repository for seven. Um, here's seven artists and... Um, Okay, so I just have seven artists. And basically it builds on Rect and it builds three other things. And so I don't wanna get into the details, but one of those things is a book. It outputs a whole book. Uh, and this would be like a, kind of like um, a textbook. So 120 pages is actually light reading for a textbook, but at the uh, maybe high school level, middle school level, it's suitable. And then obviously I could also produce um, two, three, four of these virtual textbooks and then sort of just stitch them together uh, and, and have a college level textbook. So they might be more akin to uh, sections of a textbook. If you ever crack, crack one open and it's like chapters one through six are section one and so forth. Um, so there's a couple ways I can do this. One is I can use Langchain. That would be kind of like tr the traditional way, even though it's only like a pattern that's like a year old or whatever. In, uh, in the popular ecosystem. Um, and then the new way would be I can take StoryWriter and just dump it into context, which would be so convenient. Before I dive into, and so we're gonna weigh the pros and cons and we're gonna pick one and depending on how much time we have, we'll start uh, development. Um, before I get, before I dive deep, let me give some shout outs. So Raj, uh, Raj, Rogistics, Rogistics on uh, TikTok, Rajiv Shah talks about um, early model. how to improve performance of models in this video here, but he really does a bunch of stuff and you should go follow the guy, but uh, maybe I'll jump to, I think the money shot. Yeah, right here. Strategies for better LLM. So there's the zero shot prompt where you just ask it in the prompt, few shot, and then how many constitutes few. Um, I think that there are a number of benchmarks which recognize a five shot prompt. Uh, and then in one case, I think there's even a 25 shot prompt, but I wouldn't call that few. <laughs> uh, so few shot prompt to me means uh, three to five and, and standardly five. Um, and then five fine tuning. And then it's sort of hard to see, but it says many types of fine tuning instruction, RLHF and PEFT. And the cool one is PEFT, but the issue is that PEFT is so new, it's not actually standardized how to implement that. Um, in the literature, it's like really exciting and on the edge, but there's actually a number of implementations in the literature and moving over into industry. Uh, I'm not aware, and please let me know if you're aware, but I'm not aware of like PEFT as a service anywhere. So maybe someone should go do that. So shout out to Raj, um, who basically that in this in this video convinced me that um, I should go for few shot prompt for now, and I should not worry about PEFT for now. 
Um, and I should not worry about other sorts of fine tuning because they'll soon be outdated. So for now, few shot prompt gets me like a, a lot of the power and I can also leverage something like GPT-4 where I may not even have access to fine tune it, right? But I can still get to that GUI and I can still do a few shot prompt. Um, and it also retains a certain flexibility so that I can work with a few shot prompt now and in the future I can, I can migrate to PEPT. Um, so with few shot prompts, the, the context window becomes important. And that's one of the reasons that we're now interested in story writer, in addition to the fact that it can dump out a video or, or like a, a book. Some of the other ones to consider, this is just like sort of a brain dump of the models that I'm considering for Rect. Um, Koala, I think Koala's off the table now. This one is this Wakuna. So, um, it all started as I was hunting for a Chat GPT. Chat G, Chat GLM six B. Okay, so this is still on the table, and the reason is because I could run it on my computer basically, um, and I can even run it on my M one. So my PC, oh my M two. Nerf Scuttler, what's up? What's up over there on, on uh, Twitch? Hey, shout out, if you're on TikTok, you can go over to Twitch or YouTube and see the full screen. I'm really trying to grow my YouTube right now, so I would love a, a follow on YouTube. So on my M2 Air, MacBook Air, uh, I can do a six gig model, uh, but it needs to be like ARM compatible. So that's a hiccup there. On this PC, I think I can go like up to like 18 gigs. Um, and it's dated in its own way. I do have NVIDIA. We'll get, we'll get to that when we get there. Okay. So you can check out this optimize like issue number two, if you want to see all the, all the models in, under consideration. Um, uh, but really link your YouTube. It's not in your about me. Ooh, big oof on me. Uh, it's my same username. Yeah. I'll link it and then I'll have to go update my Twitch. Thanks for the shout out. Uh, let me know if you can see that. Okay, cool. So, um, few shot or in context, PEFT, we took pr parameter efficient fine tuning is, is PEFT. That's the same thing. ICL is in context learning. So yeah, I think we're basically caught up. Uh, and then did I control F B I C U N A? Yeah. So Vicuna and then the other one is like llama. Uh, basically all of these Vicuna and llama, and let me double check. I don't know about the GLM are all recognizable under, um, the sort of umbrella we can call Uba Buga. Uba Buga has these one click installers for these, these open source models, a lot of them. So here's another shout out Uba Buga. Awesome name, right? Um, let's see if it has a quick list of the supported ones. It's probably on here somewhere and I'm probably just not seeing it. Uba Booga supported models. So they have support for Llama, you can see here. So the model argument to the server file. So let's go check the server file. Uh, and here's another shout out to Wario, Wawa Wario, trying to put long-term memory into Uba Booga. So we talked about Story Writer with the 65K plus context window where you can just dump the thing right in. We talked about using Langchain and I would be using lane chain with an Uba Buga model like Llama. Oh, here's the list. Here's the list right here. Um, oh, well, it says like, so there could be additional, but we have GPT-6. 
sorry, GPT-J6B, Galactica, Llama, Pygmalion. What is this? Uh, we are trying to write a book with AI. And so we're trying, I have a bunch of content all over the web and I'm trying to get a single knowledge store where I can dump it all in there and then have that output some content basically. Does that make sense? Here's the server file for Ubobuga. Let's see if it has, oh, there's a models folder. Maybe that'll say. Config YAML, place your models here. Okay, I think this is the full list. So you got Llama and there's like a variety of versions of Llama. It's like a uh, pattern matching. Uh, here's Bakuna, Alpaca, yep, Galactica, Dolly. That was another important one. So Dolly 2 is apparently commercially usable and pretty cheap to train. Koala, chat GLM. Okay, so we we're trying to confirm chat GLM. Let me make a note of this file because this file is pretty cool that it tells you the supported ones. Yeah, so um, when I talk about using LangChain, it would be LangChain over an Ubabuga model. All your projects use AI. That is great. What's up, Justin Codes? Thanks for being here. Hey, a uh, quick reminder, if you're on TikTok, you can go over to YouTube or Twitch and see the full screen. And please follow me on YouTube. I'm trying to grow my YouTube audience. Okay. Um, so we can close this. Leave this one open. The, the, the next shout out is to Mosaic. So Mosaic released this insane story writer model with a context length of 65K and uh, runs on a single node of A180 GB GPUs. Now my question was, okay, you can have this amazing performance on this enormous GPU, but can I use it anyway on, on a smaller GPU like my 20, like my 20 GB uh, and just not get this amazing result? Can I have some sort of more modest result and still run it locally? So that's one of the main questions I'm trying to investigate today. We will hopefully find out together shortly. Um, I'm sort of pre predisposed to thinking the answer is like, no, I cannot do that. But I don't know. And uh, they didn't just release the story writer, they released three different models. And this uh, instruct is built on Databricks Dolly. So I think one of these can run on my computer, but like I'm, it's really hard for me to run these things on my computer. I don't understand how to do it. Thus the stream. Licensed for commercial use, unlike Llama. Shade, shade, shade. So yeah, so he, this is a more modest model, but I'll walk you through. Uh, how I'm trying to identify the system requirements for StoryWriter. So I look up StoryWriter. They say you can use this crazy thing. First of all, let me give a shout out to them. There is a place where you can just rent a, a, an enormous GPU like this. Paper space, paper space. Paperspace.com, shout out to them. This is not affiliated or anything. I just found out about them. And you can literally roll up and rent an A100 uh, 90 gig RAM, 12 virtual CPU, multi GPU types 248. You can roll up and rent this for about three bucks an hour. Now, three bucks an hour might sound expensive, but like, dude, it's not. So think about my human time. So my human time is worth like at least a hundred bucks an hour. Um, and believe it or not, that's being conservative. <laughs> now, it's really laborious and time consuming for me to write a book. It's just incredibly time consuming. Um, 
so the question is how many words will that bad boy churn out when I rent it? Um, but before we do that, there's, there's the other question about, do I even need to rent it because can I use my own computer and maybe it just takes longer or maybe I cannot dump the whole book at a time. Maybe I have to do like a chapter at a time, which would still be fine for me. Um, or do I just not, or do I bite the bullet and pay? Cause like, it doesn't look like a lot of money to me, but I could be mistaken. Here's why I could be mistaken. It could be that when I'm hosting that, the performance is incredibly slow and it's like one token per second or something silly like that. So what I care about is the project cost for generating the book, right? How much can the A100 push on Fortnite? It's a good question. It's a good question. So um, how many gigs does it take to run Fortnite? Eight, uh, six or eight or four? Fortnite system requirements. Can you run on four gigs? You gotta have eight gigs, okay? So um, in theory, in theory, the A100 could run 11 players at the same time. So it could, it could do its whole Fortnite match <laughs> against itself. <laughs> that would be awesome. Somebody needs to go make that happen. Um, okay, so shout out to them and like this is an option and I might do this. Uh, I'm not crazy about the idea of spending any money. I was trying to get this to be open source and faux free, but honestly, free is a lie because it's still going to take my human time to build the thing and run the thing. And also the end result quality um, could be different, but this is a good reason to go for, for Langchain and for the weaker model is as a baseline. And so if I just dive into this expensive one and then I'm like, okay, I have this so to, sort of floating bar of quality, I have nothing to compare it against. So maybe I go for Langchain, maybe point in favor of the Langchain Ubabuga approach, and then I pay for this, and then I can compare them and go, hey, like, which is better? Felt? Tay Gambino says, what is this? So what we're doing right now is we're trying to figure out how to um, get all of my social media content. So I have like hella YouTube videos, hella TikTok videos, blog articles, open source code. And I want to take all of that stuff and pour it into an information bucket. Felt? And then I want that bucket to build like a sandcastle or something. Like I want it to be a book. I'm trying to make a book out of this stuff and I'm trying to have AI draft it for me. That's the real deal. I want AI to draft my book because it takes me too long to write books. Start Stuart, Stuart GM. Thanks for being here. Stuart says better than AWS at about three and a half per hour for a P3 2XL with a 16 gig Tesla V100. Yeah, you know, I don't want to get off on a tangent about AWS, but uh, uh, they are, they're not cost optimal anymore, in my opinion. Hot take, hot take. Now that is if you're looking at the bare metal price and you're ignoring all the other things like basically their, their crash proofing reliability, their customer service. If you're literally just like, I want to run a function as fast and cheap as possible and you don't care about like failover and you don't care about all the bells and whistles, um, it's not Amazon anymore. It's just not. Thanks for being here, y'all. If you're liking the video, tap the uh, screen and beat the snot out of the algorithm. Hey, one other thing to shout out about Paperspace, they have this thing called an IPU. I don't even know how this thing works. It's a, uh, it, it looks like an ASIC or an application specific, um, at least an application specific chip. Maybe it's not an ASIC. Maybe it's like a application specific. Yeah, maybe it's an ASC. I don't know, what would you call that? So it's called a GraphCore IPU and um, you can get 5.6 petaflops of AI compute. And they say, uh, our team can help migrate from CPU or GPU to IPU. And uh, so they'll provide migration assistance. I, I assume they're targeting like enterprise for that. But still, um, something to be mindful of if you're an AI company. And like, I just came across this. I don't really know how it works, um, but it's cool. Shout out to Ubabuga. I think we already did that. Okay, so 
let's get into the system requirements. Let's get into this story writer. So we go over to the hugging face, right? And it's like, it's open source, it's right here. Cool, files and versions. Let me read that readme. So like, here's the files. Thank you, hugging face. And then there's like a 10 gig uh, torch model right here. And then like a three gig torch model over here. And it's like, okay, there's the model. How do I use it? <laughs> That's where, sorry, I am a software engineer and I'm, I'm ignorant about um, some of this stuff. So I'm like, how do I use it? Well, let me go to the readme. Um, and what the readme set, it's like a sparse readme. Um, model date, cool. The license, great. I'm glad it's Apache 2. We love that. How to use it. Okay, I need to set trust remote code equal to true. I'm already confused. Is this assuming a cloud location? Does trust remote code work on my local machine? I'm already confused, see? Uh, and then I see to use the, oh, and I read this wrong earlier. I thought it said it uses the optimized Triton implementation. Now I'm reading it and it says to use the optimized Triton implementation. Anyway, this was my, um, scroll down to the bottom and I don't think, I don't see anything about system requirements. Looking under the limitations and biases, I don't think, see anything about the hardware or the software. It uses flash attention, let me crack that open. So maybe I can drive system requirements from these uh, items. So I'll tell you what I did and then we'll see if I, if I did that wrong. So what I did is I said, oh, it uses Triton implementation. Let me go read about that. So you go over here to Triton and then Triton does have supported hardware. And it says NVIDIA GPU under development, this other stuff. So I have an NVIDIA GPU, but it's dated. So my question is like compute capability 7.0. What is that? I don't know. What I did uh, is I just Googled compute, ca compute ca capability. Uh, let me close this tab. Close this tab. Uh, here's the LLM Foundry, which is the uh, the Foundry release from Mosaic. So I told you that Mosaic released more than one model. So this is kind of like a uh, like a parent repository that like talks about all of them. Although maybe this one has system requirements in it. Now that I think about it. Hugging face auth token, like it looks to me like we're presuming uh, cloud, like the training happening on the cloud. Use a system with G NVIDIA GPUs, that's all it says. Um, it's like, I don't know, man, could my computer work? I'm still confused. I kind of want to run it and then maybe my computer will just explode and I'll be like, oops. <laughs> Okay, so based on this, like I'm gonna leave it open because it talks about the Docker container and then we'll close this. Riley B Brown is another guy that deserves a shout out. And when I, how did I even find out about paperspace.com was from Riley Brown's Discord. So there's a bunch of smart people, including himself on the Discord. And uh, he is a very, very smart um, and experienced in the sense of having played with many AI tools, thought leader in the space. So check this guy out on TikTok and on Twitter. Cool, so we'll close that. So, so I Google this phrase, which is compute capability 7.0. And I may have included NVIDIA in that. And so you see what comes up is the CUDA GPUs, compute capability. So it brings me to NVIDIA developer. You can learn more about compute capability here. Uh, and so um, basically I go to download the CUDA, go to download the CUDA toolkit and, and I downloaded and I st installed this. I installed this. And then I have this uh, GeForce experience, which is like the software layer over my GPU. Um, this needed driver updates. So I tried to install them, the update failed. Uh, but then after I updated the CUDA toolkit, the, the driver update succeeded. And so as we're going through this, I'm walking through you, how am I setting up to get from A to B? 
And a critical thing here is that I'm trying to bring my, my GPU to be as good as possible before I like try to run it against all, all this MPT stuff. Uh, so you can see I have the latest drivers as of uh, earlier this month. And, uh, and I installed this version 12.1, I think it is. Nate says, what up, fellow nerdling? Hey, Nate, thanks for being here. Um, cool, so those are some of the steps that I took. Now, the question of the day is whether I can support the uh, compatibility requirement here for Triton. <laughs> And I think the answer is no, which I previously thought would cross off MPT off my list. But now I'm thinking like, maybe it doesn't cross it off the list. Maybe I just deal with an inferior MPT. Okay, so 789, 789. Um, this is like a weird way to look it up, right? I wanna look it up by my hardware that I have. Oh, let me make a note of this on on um, my issue. And that is the paper space. Cool. Closing tabs feels great. Now that I saved it, I can close it. These are, a couple of these are duplicate, right? Yep. Cool. Um, so I thought one of these was supposed to let me, are you looking for compute capability GPU? Check the tables below. What tables, bro? Table. Table has one result. Um, CUDA enabled GeForce and Titan products. Well, I have a GeForce product. And I, I am CUDA enabled. It's dated, but it's like, it is CUDA enabled. So maybe I need to go here, basically. So which one do I have? Now you get to see how dated my system is. My system is. Um, let's go about, or no, I wanna actually bring up NVIDIA specifically. So the NVIDIA control panel, I'm on Windows 10, in case you didn't already notice from the way the site, the way the computer looks. Okay, um, so here I'm gonna go to help and I'm going to go to system information. <clears throat> so there you go, I got DirectX 12 in the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960, 1024 CUDA cores. There's the driver version and a bunch of other stuff that doesn't matter so much. So GeForce GTX 960 is the important bit. GeForce GTX 960, Control F 96, Control F. Let me click to activate the page, Control F 960. Okay, so here we go. Cool, um, ish. So we are compute capability 5.2. And to get into that seven, did it say 7.0 plus? So to get into that 7.0 plus range, uh, we would need to go uh, RTX 2060 plus. Is that not the same same thing twice? Yeah, why, is, why do they have it on the left and the right? That's kind of weird. GeForce and Titan products, GeForce notebook products. Whoa, do they legit have notebooks that are rocking these boys? That's kind of wild. That's like a notebook, you know what I mean? Like that is like a, a thick notebook. It's like a hunk of steel. <laughs> cool. Um, I don't know, is the Titan cool? I don't know anything about hardware. I'm a software person, but I'll, I'll make a note. Um, looks like we want the RTX 2060 or better. What does this thing cost? Uh, 
Yeah, that's not bad, right? It's a few hundred bucks. That's not scary. That being said, it's a hundred hours on the rent the amazingness thing. So the issue with this is I don't think I could drop this on my motherboard. That's the issue. And I could be wrong about that, but I think if I'm going to get, and realistically, if this is only a few hundred bucks, I'd, I'd probably look at something better. So let's see what is, there's nobody supporting the nine series. So it's the, it sort of looks like the eight series is the next big step. Yeah, that feels like about what I would spend on a new on, on a new graphics card personally. But the issue is, is that I don't think I can drop this on. So I would be getting a whole new computer, basically. And so for me, it's not a matter of four hundred dollars. It's a matter of a couple grand, right? New motherboard. Uh, yeah. So, I still want to make a note of it, though. And my question is, can I run this on my M2? And, like, the answer is, like, we think no, right? Yeah. Still, I think it's pretty accessible. I think that's really cool. Um, if I'm understanding this correctly, and like I could be completely wrong about that. So, and this is to run Triton. Optimize thingy under MPT. Where's 3050? Only four gigs VRAM, that would be an issue for something like this. Oh, do I only have four gigs of VRAM? Let's see. I have like 20 gigs of RAM, but I guess I can't use that because it's like CPU RAM or something. Uh, let me go back. Riley says, where's 3050? Let's check. Let's check quickly. 30. Oh, 3050. Yeah, it's over here. So it's exclusively on notebooks, it seems like. And these days, it looks like that'll run you 250. Um, thanks for being here, y'all. Good questions. Okay. We were going to double check the VRAM. Is that right? Help, system information. Hey, Stuart, do you know, can I allocate my RAM to, to um, GPU usage if I have like onboard RAM? Memory data rates. I'm not sure. Where did you see the VRAM thing? I'm not seeing that. Is it this? Oh, dedicated video memory. That's what you're looking at? So, Dylan says, what's going on here? I'm new. Sorry. Hey, no need to apologize, Dylan. Welcome aboard. Quick reminder, you can go over to YouTube or Twitch and see the full screen. Uh, so what we're doing is we are trying to run a uh, an LLM possibly locally and or in the cloud. But we want to run some kind of LLM. And we may want to use LangChain and we may want to use a supersized context window so that I can dump a bunch of information into this Mamma Jamma uh, and have it write a book for me as well as some other stuff. There's seven outputs, but basically the big hard task is the book. If it can do that, it can do everything else. I already have a way to do four of the, four of the outputs. Okay, so this is the one, and this is going to be an issue, um, Stuart. Yeah, I hear you. Um, I can flip these things into CPU mode, right? That's one option. Ubabuga has CPU mode support. Um, so maybe this is a reason to cross off. Maybe this is a reason to cross off MPT. 
Not sure about using system RAM. Okay. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Cool. So, um, oh, this was a cool paper. I'll close this real quick. But basically, this said that um, PEFT is more performant than in context learning. Is this that same paper? PEFT. Uh, efficient. Oh no, this is the alibi. This is the uh, long, this is the long uh, context window. Um, flash attention. I was looking in this for system requirements. Like, I don't know why I was doing that. Um, it did not have the system requirements that I care about. So basically we cannot use Triton, right? Basically we cannot use Triton. Let's give Triton a star. Good job for making Triton, y'all. We can't use Triton, but can we still use um, the so-called LLM stack, the Mosaic LLM stack? It just says use a system with NVIDIA GPUs, which I have, and I have CUDA support. I just have sort of data CUDA support with this like 5.x. Flash attention kernels. The image is pre-configured, so uh, yeah. CUDA version 11. See, I, am, I'm, I have CUDA toolkit for 12.1. Uh, so I can support that, I believe. Um, even though it might technically run, it could be so slow that it could be an awful idea, right? This is what I'm not sure about. Thanks for the follow, Jesse. So this is the part where um, either I run it or I don't, right? Like I need to make a decision at this point. Um, let's close this, close this. I think I'm partial to Uba Booga because Uba Booga has CPU mode. I, I, I want to take a crack at this. I just don't think it's going to work. Okay. I mean, let's take a crack at it, right? What's going to happen? It's not going to work. That's fine. MPT-7B is a GPT-style model and the first in the Mosaic ML Foundation series of models trained on a trillion tokens. That is wild, dog. <laughs> so let's not do Story Writer, right? Is this the way we can make things more feasible? Let's take this base model. Um, and uh, first of all, let's check their readme. Maybe, maybe the base model will be an easier case. I'm not really sure. NVIDIA's faster transformer. This is going to point me back to, uh, to Triton and stuff, isn't it? I don't think I can support this. Bert, okay, cool. Look at this. This is, I don't have this, bro. 8 A100s, nah. TensorFlow 2, that's sick. Support Bloom, okay. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm also now questioning, like, won't Uba Booga pick this up soon if it's open sourced? Won't they pick this up soon? Could buy a house with money for eight A100s. Literally, like, dude, like, that's not going to happen. Yeah, see, I was going to keep going in CS, but this looks so boring. Uh, this isn't really CS, right? This is like data science, but... Yeah, I mean, CS as a program is super boring. I never liked it in school. I only got into it later.
I just, I'm not even seeing the setup instructions. I'm like reading this. I'm like, okay, let's give it a shot. And it's like, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? Budget was like, see, I get down here and they're like, what's your budget? And I have to pick the lowest one. And I'm feeling like this is not what I should be doing, right? I'm trying to do it for free on my own computer. Okay, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is, uh, this is not happening. Someone, if you can figure out how to make this work, please let me know. I cannot at least currently figure out how to get this to work. So very cool thing that it exists. I look forward to using it um, probably as a hosted service so someone else can figure out how to install it and run it and then I can just do it that way. So let's do some Uba Booga. Um, do I clone it down to start with? Let's see. Grab that on my clipboard. And these people have a kick-ass readme, right? One-click installer. Uh, okay. Sure, let's do that. Manual installation using Conda. Let's avoid it unless we, I mean, we can do that if we need to. But one-click installer sounds awesome. Uh... I guess I need to drop this in my workspace here. What a crazy name, Uba Bugo. What a crazy name, right? Cool, so we unzip it, close this. Um, I kind of feel like I should be using the, uh, kind of feel like I should be using the repository. Simply run the start script. Cool. Sounds good. You've downloaded 500 gigs and installed Conda and got hacked. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, so for the um, for that ginormous model, it looks like paper space is the way to go. I don't know how to do that. So yeah, maybe outside of the stream, I'll learn more about paper space. I'm Rocky says RIP. Is my stream getting just shredded or what? Thanks for being here, by the way. This looks fully frozen, right? Like, what's going on? Average download speed is 30. Twitch stream died for me. Had to close and reopen the app. That's brutal. I'm sorry. Thanks for hanging in there. Maybe I'm trying to like download too much while I stream. This thing is not working, right? Okay, so I'm gonna kill this. It just, it looks, oh, hold on. Did it, was it like waiting on my confirmation? Let me try that one more time. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I thought it was uh, frozen, but then I hit a button and it seemed to like be wanting my input. Whoa, what? No worries, interested in this stuff. Wish I understood it better. Hey, follow the page. You're in the right place. Let's get it running. You know, they say computers are so fast, but dude, computers are slow. 
Let's get it running. Computers are slow, man. Our brains are way faster than these little suckers. Cool, so here's the Conda Activate. What is your GPU? See, y'all are gonna trick me because the answer is I have NVIDIA, but I have like a shitty old NVIDIA. All right, let's do it. They're gonna be like, oh, the installation failed because you have an old piece of garbage computer. That's rude. Hey, if you're on TikTok, by the way, you can go over to YouTube and Twitch and see the whole screen. We are solving the environment. I love that. That sounds good. Is that like reducing pollution or something? Edit the web UI pie flag, set the desired flags. So I guess that's maybe where I'm gonna go pick the model that I wanna use. Problem is I don't know what model I wanna use. That's something I can look into while this is getting all set up. I can go uh, think about which model I wanna use. Oh, this thing Ava is another cool thing. Uh, hold on, not Ava. Um, auto GPT for research. I forgot what it's called. Never mind. There's like an auto GPT for research now. So of these supported models. ChatGLM versus Vacuna. Let's check that out. Looks like we're at 100% with the exception of nothing. It's like everything on screen is 100% downloaded. So it's just a matter of installing what's already been downloaded at this point. Cool. As little as six gigabytes of GPU memory and we talked about the fact that I only have four. So I only have four GPU memory. So this will not work. Chat GLM. Okay, what is... Uh, Cat Lafemme, thanks for the likes. So I think the Vacuna 13V is gonna to be too big. 
14 gigabytes of GPU memory for the Vicuna 7B. Yeah, okay, so basically all of these um, I either need to run in CPU mode or I need to run remotely. This one has AMD support. Maybe that's why I, maybe that's why I will prefer this because I, I have an M2 and I think it's faster than my current computer. Llama based models are def usable on CPU. Hey Stuart, thanks for being on Twitch. Good to see you there. Yeah, um, they are usable. My question is whether they are going to be fast. Um, oh, is Vacuna also Llama based? I think so, right? Um, control F. I think so. So let's go with Vacuna then. Yeah, it's named after a cousin of the llama. There you go. There you go. Makes sense. Seven B can run on a thirty two gig M one with one to two words per second. One to two words per second is so slow, right? Um, yeah, this is really where I start to wonder, like, isn't it, isn't it worth the, uh, the cloud hosted thing? You can enable 8-bit compression by adding load 8-bit. Can reduce memory usage by around half. And this is gigs of CPU memory. Now, when we say gigs of CPU memory, isn't that just RAM? I've run a 7B model in 8-bit on, on my 10 gig GPU. OK. It says more hidden. I wonder how much more is hidden, hey? Golly. It's taking a long time to download. That is cool. It has this fast chat thing going on. I really, really like that. So whenever I, whenever I'm doing like, um, that would be for use with LangChain, right? Let's see, fast chat LangChain. Not sure if LangChain support is already possible. 
but if it isn't, I'd like that, to request that be implemented. It seems to be doing just fine without lang. What does that mean? What? I misspoke earlier. There is zero evidence to support the claims being made in this empty repo. What? GPT for all has a branch with blank chain support. We'll investigate link chain integration and update in the thread. Let's do GPT for all versus Alpaca. Sure, versus Vacuna. Is Alpaca better? Have you tried Dolly already? Nope, there's like so many to deal with. Okay. Uh, now, why would I want Dolly? Just run this. Looks really simple. I like it. Cool. So if we cannot run Uba Booga, we can run Dolly. It's a little lighter weight is the idea, basically. Wa A says, what is this? Uh, we are trying to get an AI to run on my computer. Preparing transaction, verifying transaction, executing transaction, profit. So GPT-4 is saying, G is saying uh, Vacuna beats GPT-4X Alpaca. GPT for all has a commercial license, but not as good as Vacuna. based on Vicuna 7B. Wow. Immediately obliterated the max buffer size. Needs 113 or later. What version do I have?
highlights from the Chrome 112 update. Okay. So yeah, let's update Chrome. DG Flow says open source. Um, yeah, this one that we're looking at in front of us is open source, Web LLM. This would be a, this would be awkward to use because I, to interact with it in high um, to interact with it at high frequency uh, like an API, I would need to I think do a browser extension maybe. I'm not sure. Look at that thing still executing. Is that uh, WebGL? Basically, yeah. Basically, yes. So I made a note of it. I don't know that I'm crazy about it. Here, can I update? Updating Chrome, look, it just immediately did, even without sort of like, without me asking, that's crazy. Got stuck on 66. In this demo, that thing is cooking with gas. Look at that. Maybe it's, uh, ooh, okay. Maybe it's really fast on M M1, M2. This says relaunch to finish updating, okay. And now we're 113. Okay, so can I now magically use this thing now? Um, what color is the dollar bill? Ooh. Ooh. It was a complicated question, right? So, yeah, Apple have some AI specific hardware in there. Yep. Yeah, no sweat that it, it is only 10% uh, done with its response after 30 seconds. No sweat. It was a complicated question when I said, what color is the dollar bill? <laughs> Wow, and that executing transaction is still executing. I do not have high hopes for the speed of this. Do not have high hopes. So yeah, that uh, paper, guess it'll be downloading the model initially. Yeah, so maybe it'll be faster subsequently, one can hope. So Uba Booga versus, like LangChain versus MPT. The current answer appears to be, if you're working with an older piece of hardware like I have, then we can't run anything locally. We need to trust the cloud. And given that I'm trusting the cloud, um, that $3 an hour, uh, was it $3 an hour or $3 a minute? Whoa, big difference, right? think per hour um, is starting to look attractive if I can avoid all of the complexity of lane chain setup in cloud. Um, the caveat is that I couldn't see the setup instructions. 
I guess it did say something about if you're if you're planning to use Hugging Face, click this button. And I just totally ignored it. looking pretty good there three bucks an hour how much am i paying so langchain uses a, uh, a data store right does langchain need a need a postgres or Ninety six percent complete. Cool, so I think the current experiment results are saying like, this stuff is too slow on this machine right here. So um, yeah, we'll need to do a different test on my M2. Uh, and if that works cool, and if not, then cloud is the way to go, or we can just skip the M2 and just go straight for the cloud. And if I go cloud, then I can work from this computer as well because all the heavy lifting is on the other side, right? This thing is like still stuck here. I'm thinking about closing it down soon. All right, the green color of the dollar bill is known as Oh, it's going to give you it's going to give like the special color name. Like evening green, is it? Wow, this is so painful to watch. I feel like I'm drown. I feel like I'm drowning in a uh, quicksand or like slow mud or something. I'll ask it one more question and we'll wrap up the stream. Thanks for hanging in there, everyone. This was fun, right? Oh, it's still going. Or must be on CPU, surely. Uh, it says it's using GPU NVIDIA and it loaded the shaders. I watched it load the shaders. Here, let me close this. Maybe it's like sharing the GPU over multiple processes.
Yeah. CPU does not look maxed out, in my opinion. We have like, in one of these, like empty. Where's the GPU? It's Chrome, darn it. Chrome is eating all my gigabytes. Wow, it's still going. It was adopted as the color Chrome is slaying over there. Look at that. Oh, GPU is around like 0%. Yeah, it's not. Oh, well. I got two GPUs. This is the NVIDIA GPU. Yeah, so the NVIDIA GPU is like 90% utilization. It's further maxed than my uh, CPU. Yeah, my CPU is only at like 20, 20 to 40 range. So it is flooring this NVIDIA. <laughs> It is flooring it, bro. <laughs> this is like uh, sending grandpa to the Olympics or something, and it's just like painful to watch. Run, grandpa. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five. So we've gotten about thirty-five words, and I think that was a full three minutes. So I think it's like a full like yeah. It's like, it's like, uh, oh, oh, it did the calculation for me. Look at that. There you go. Seconds per token territory. Yeah. Four point, let me see how my, my napkin, uh, math was. So what did I say? Um, I said three, so 35 over three minutes over 60. Did I just math wrong or what? Three minutes times 60 seconds per minute divided by 35 words. So I was thinking about 5.1 and the true was about 4.8. So like, yeah, very, very close. It's like five seconds per, well, that's 4.8 seconds per token. And I was saying five seconds, five seconds per word. And it's, what is it? Three, um, three quarters of a word per token. So this is, um, this is not gonna work. But this will be great to compare, so yeah, this will be great to go benchmark my M2. Um, was it 9986? Let me look one more time. M2 should smoke that easy. Yeah, I wonder if it'll I wonder if it'll get to 10x. 960, thanks. Um, anything else to jot down about the system information? So it's a 960. Uh, probably the four gig thing is worth calling out. Um, I think that's it. Oh, the, um, uh, 5.5, 5. 
um, CUDA compute ability and then uh, uh, 4 gig 4 gig um, video or yeah GPU all right y'all that is the result of the experiment today so um, to summarize um, anything locally is really slow on this computer <laughs> um, so yeah from this computer point of view we're definitely looking at the cloud and the question is going to be whether I can go over to the M2 and do anything locally there um, and if not we're going to the cloud and if we go to the cloud then it becomes a question about do I do I want to do laying chain over there or not and honestly I'll probably try out both um, because um, like I don't want to be afraid of the complexity of that right I want to get comfortable with it so please follow the channel um, and you know share all the videos with your friends and whatnot and we'll do some more videos we'll do um, doing lane chain cloud development with lane chain uh, let me make it to do we'll do cloud development with lane chain and uh, try the um, paper space a100 And then I'll also, oh, that didn't work, A100. And then I'll also try to figure out, like, what is this IPU thing? Like, I'll do some research about there and, uh, and see if that's something. See if that's something uh, useful as well. I'm not sure. Thanks for being here. Thank you for your time. See you later.